Hey everyone, Marty here, ChefMartyRich.com. Got another quick story for you from the front porch. A few days ago, I had one of my neighbors come over. She's having an anniversary party, and uh, she wanted to get a recipe for dinner rolls. So I ran upstairs to the computer, Googled dinner rolls, got a great easy dinner roll recipe. Gave it to her, and she said, I can take it from here. So I said, cool. Well, last night she called and said, oh, I don't know what happened, but uh, dinner rolls didn't come out right. So I said, okay, take me through step by step, and we'll see if we can figure this out. So she said, well, I took the yeast, and I put it into the boiling water, and I said, oh, Time out, time out, time out, time out. There's your problem straight away. Wasn't five seconds into the conversation, and here's your problem. You killed the yeast. Yeast cannot stand temperatures over like 120 degrees. So another good reason to have an instant read thermometer in your kitchen. But anyway, we'll cover that in another video. So this is a perfect illustration of why I created the recipe rebel and the rebel stands for read between the lines a lot of recipes don't have all the information that you need to execute it correctly so if you ever have a problem with a recipe and you can't really understand what happened didn't really come out the way you thought it was going to save it save the dish save the recipe Contact me. Let's go back through the recipe and see what happened. A lot of times I can figure it out. Not every time, but a lot of times it's, it's, uh, I can identify what was left out of the recipe that you really probably needed to know to have a great result. So look down in the bottom left, oh, this corner, bottom <laughs> left-hand corner, and uh, join our community. Uh, send me your questions. Send me your problem, problem recipes. And let's work it out. We can figure this out. Maybe I'll do a video just for you. Okay. Keep coming back. I have a new tip every day. Thanks.